Now we get some cars like the Alfa Milano and Ford's Taurus Sable after years of planning and research to fill specific spots in the U.S. marketplace. But other models like the Yugo and this tall Nissan Stanza wagon just sort of roll up on our shores ready for buyers who didn't even know they wanted one. Now the Stanza wagon really isn't a Stanza at all. It's an evolution of a people mover called the Prairie. Now the Prairie's been sold in the Japanese market for a couple of years. Introduced here in limited numbers last spring, the Stanza wagon's success could be slow but sure. You can also be sure that if the Nissan wagon does become popular, it won't be because of its styling. Here we have another case of form following function. Awkward form, maybe, but at least intelligent. This big inside, small outside front drive wagon doesn't look much like the Stanza sedan, except for the front grille. It doesn't share any sheet metal. But it does share the Stanza's modest pricing policy. At $9,949, it comes with most popular options except air conditioning. But if that doesn't do it for popularity, this will. Band size sliding doors on both sides. And there's no pillar between the front and rear. The Stanza wagon sets a new standard for easy loading in tight parking lots and garages, places where conventional doors can't be opened all the way. Once inside, there's plenty of room for five adults. The cloth-covered seats were a bit too firm in the lower back and could stand more side support. However, we were appeased by the van-like folding armrest and excellent high-sitting visibility. Less to our liking was a T-handle parking brake. That's even out of style on pickup trucks. We did find the five-speed manual shift linkage above average for front-drive family models, and a four-speed overdrive automatic is an option. They make the most of their interior utility with a fold-down bench behind the sliding doors. That allows a total of 80 cubic feet of cargo. The upward hinged rear hatch opens down to the floor level to make filling that space easy. And if most of your cargo is animated, a pair of small folding jump seats can be ordered. Typical of most Japanese family models, there are plenty of small storage nooks and crannies. But the Stanza wagon is not without its inconveniences. Namely, this side window that only rolls down a quarter of the way and rear panel side glass that doesn't open at all. The dash also has problems. The standard AM FM stereo is too low and looks tacked on. We were told that this will be corrected on future models. The analog instrument cluster has a tack and temperature gauge, but we found the all orange faces somewhat distracting. For its overall size and mission, we also think a large 38-foot turning diameter negates some of the wagon's other abilities at getting in and out of tight spots. While the Stanza wagon might not look like the sedan, mechanical similarities include the same 2-liter four-cylinder power plant. Output is 97 horsepower and 114 pound-feet of torque. That means the wagon has the same modest acceleration as the sedan with our 500-foot on-ramp test expiring in 10.5 seconds at just 50 miles per hour. That's just fair, and we find average for its class a 0-60 to 60 sprint of 13.7 seconds. It would have been better except for the need to shift just prior to the 60 mark. They've also kept Stanza sedan coil springs on struts up front, but the rear suspension of the wagon uses torsion bars. They may need them for the wagon's low floor, but it doesn't do much for handling. The wagon's tall stature and center of gravity means lots of roll. Entering a turn produces expected front drive plowing. And as you turn back to the center, the very light rear end wanders and tries to steer its own course. This will be more of a problem when lightly loaded. We don't recommend any dramatic lane changes above 50 miles per hour. It can get scary out there. The weightless rear was also a problem in hard braking. The rear wheels locked first and the tail squirreled from side to side. This is an expected trait in this type of vehicle. Less expected though were the very short distances needed to stop from 55. Only 105 feet on average, an excellent and reassuring result. Likewise stands a wagon mileage. While the EPA's wish list says 28 highway and 23 city, we managed an amazing 33 on our mileage loop, twice. So adding up the scorecards, we felt the Stanza wagon made a definite hit for its intelligent dual sliding side door design, generous room for five adults, and up to a family of seven when the jump seats are added, and it's got a lot of standard features for a modest price. But it missed with us on its mind of its own handling with too much rear wheel steering. 
overly wide turning circle for its size, and a few interior design faults, parking brake, radio location, and minimal rear window openings. The Stanza wagon's cloned, spliced, and maybe even a little accidental origins are behind its limitations, but we couldn't help but be charmed by its extraordinary practicality, and a new four-wheel drive model should make it even more desirable. So maybe it just goes to show you that the unexpected ones can sometimes be the most pleasant surprise. Those are all of the surprises for now, and we'll see you next week on Motor Week. Motor Week was brought to you by the Robert Bosch Corporation, makers of Bosch Platinum, the ultimate spark plug for American and imported cars, and by Prestone Antifreeze and Coolant. America goes with Prestone. Studio vehicle courtesy of Nationwide Nissan. Something for everyone, from this homegrown 4x4 pickup to this Italian 2 Plus 2 GT, both on the next Motor Week. Hello, I'm John Davis, and next time we'll have the new Jeep Comanche pickup lined up alongside the Alfa Romeo GTV6. And there's our usual complement of maintenance advice and new car previews. So join us next time on Motor Week.